Yo what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop and I guess I'm bringing it back Does it Basketball Crocs Edition especially in sport mode So I, I know Crocs are very popular especially among you younger folk So uh, can you ball in Crocs? Can you actually do it? Uh, I believe Crocs are going for like 50 or 60 bucks which is kind of insane uh, They probably make this for like 10 bucks as far as the overall material goes but um, yeah can you ball it in Crocs? Let's find out. If you guys do want to cop a pair of Crocs, I'll try to leave an affiliate, an affiliate link in the description box. But let's get start off with the Traccionis. And as far as the Traccionis goes, it's absolutely insane. It's really, really good. And we've known this as far as like foams go. You know, foams are very like, I don't know what it is with foam, but it just grips the hardwood floor really, really well, especially with this tread, right? So uh, yeah, I had a great time, you know, bite, like you see this dust that's kind of on there, you know what I mean? It still bites through dust very well too. So if you're playing on a clean court, it's just like the curries, you know, it's like the curries right here with the flow. <laughs> this is just foam, you know what I mean? And also the OG OG, you know what I mean? Like, I don't remember what the, the shoes called, but it was like the, the brand black, black hawk or something like that. And that was really good for traction because it used foam, but like, it was terrible for durability. That was the downfall of that shoe. Um, but yeah, they kind of figured it out here in the Carice. And <laughs> for the Crocs, I mean, there's not that much wear and tear, but it, it probably isn't as good as the flows for durability. But if you're playing on a clean court or on a dusty court, you're gonna have really, really good stops. And I had a great time playing in the Crocs because the traction was so damn good. <laughs> isn't that crazy? Crocs, would have thought. You know what I mean? Uh, so there's the traction there, but not good for durability. And definitely don't play with these outside. I don't know why you would play in Crocs, first of all, but like, why would you play in Crocs outside? You know what I mean? Like, uh, I see people now, they come in their Crocs, you know, and they have their hoop shoes in their bag and they got to change it. Uh, the hoop shoes can't touch the outside. They, you know what I mean? They, they can't touch the con concrete floor. They can't touch the, the asphalt. Uh, so they bring their Crocs. Um, anyways, so there's that as far as the heel to toe transition goes. I mean, look, there's like, it's actually not terrible for torsional support because like the foam is thicker here. So it, it's not bad, it's, 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 it's bad, um, but it's not terrible, right? But like we have good flex here in the forefoot and then here in the heel, we have a nice rounded shape and then the forefoot nice rounded shape. So heel to toe transition also is pretty smooth and now moving on to the cushioning setup to the cushioning setup. We have foam and um, I like it kind of because it's kind of like a drop in. You know what I mean? Like the foam here, uh, if you feel it, it's actually, there's a little bit of give, but it's really, really thin though, you know? So especially in the forefoot, it's super duper thin there and the heel gets a little bit thicker. Uh, so there is a little bit of give for stepping comfort and underfoot cushion, but like I said, it's super thin. So like if you're doing impacts, like even like hard impacts, Heel strikes hurt really, really bad because you're like, my foot was bottoming out the cushion a good amount, right? And then it hurt. So I didn't like that either. So any type of like hard impact, even like running down the court, it kind of hurt, you know what I mean? Uh, just like kind of playing, you know, playing around and stuff and you're not really being serious. I didn't really have any huge issues, but like when I really started playing, it started to hurt a lot, right? So if they made the cushion a little bit thicker, eh, I definitely would have liked it a lot more, but I do like the foam like being right underneath my foot, just like a drop in. So that felt nice. Also, I do like this tread. You guys see this tread here on like the, on top of the foam here. So that kind of like grips your sock and really, really helps with lockdown, which we'll get into. But overall cushion was all right. I mean, if you're looking for responsiveness and uh, court feel, then this is really, really good. But any type of impact protection, not nice, right? And now moving on to the materials. I mean, honestly, like, I don't know what I, it's just foam. Right, and we got holes in it. We got holes here on top, and we got some holes here on the sides for great ventilation. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's not that bad, you know? Um, it conforms to your foot like somewhat well. It doesn't hurt your feet at all. And uh, honestly, it's, it's, it's okay, you know? I just don't like the fit all too much, which we'll get into, but the overall materials with this foam, it's all right. But also, don't play with the Crocs in, in regular economy mode. <laughs> You know I mean? <laughs> you gotta play with it in sport mode, not economy mode. In sport mode is where you get serious, like, right? So if someone's playing in economy mode, they're just playing around. If they if they put it in sport mode though, they there's they they serious. They are serious and trying to hoop, you know what I mean? Uh <laughs> so there's the materials there. I mean it, it's not bad. Um and then moving on to the fit. 
Uh, go true to size if you want a nice fit, nice snug fit. They do run a little roomy, however, right? So here in the toe box, it's like it, it's not super snug, and also width wise, it's super wide. You know what I mean? Look at that compared to the Currys. You know what I mean? So uh, I mean, obviously, it's good for your foot health because it has a wide fit, right? But like, if you're playing ball, you don't want a wide fit because your foot can like. Uh, move around inside of the shoe, right? That's what you would think. But like I said, this foam. And so first of all, the, the thing that I love about drop in midsoles, especially like in the 8082, you know what I mean? Or the Kobe's, right? Uh, the foam material, this foam, like whatever, like EVA or whatever, it grips your foot and your sock really, really well, right? So it just kind of like keeps your foot in place, even inside this really wide fit in the Crocs, right? And not only that, like I mentioned before, we have this tread here. So that probably helps too with the containment. So like when I was playing, my foot was just held in place, even though it was a wide fit. So that's the reason why I like the 808 too as well, you know, because even though it's like a wider fit, it just grips my foot really, really well. So that felt great. And like, I guess segueing into support and lockdown, it was overall pretty good. Like, look at this, you know, we have a, <laughs> a side wall and it's made of foam. So it's not gonna really like, you know, it has good lateral containment, you know? And honestly, here in the heel, we have the, I mean, it, uh, where's this? I mean, it's more in the midfoot, but it kind of like keeps your heel back as well. So lateral containment was good. Lateral stability was good as well. It's a wide base. <laughs> and like I said, you know, like containment was pretty damn good. I mean, heel slippage, uh, this kind of does move up a little bit, but it wasn't terrible. And um, yeah, my foot was held in place because of like the foamy texture from this like cushion, right? So supporting lockdown was actually not that bad. I mean, it wasn't amazing, of course, but it wasn't that bad, you know what I mean? I could still play in it a little bit. And now moving on to the weight of uh, the shoe, right? I guess we're calling it a shoe. Super light, obviously, it's probably gonna be like eight, nine. Nope, 5.93 ounces, guys. Let's check the other pair. 6.07 ounces. So basically like six ounces. That is the lightest shoe ever. And it's lighter than Kobe's. Kobe's are like eight ounces, right? So yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe Nike should make a basketball version of this or maybe Under Armour, honestly, you know what I mean? Like the Curry 4 Float Show is like nine or oh, 11 ounces, right? Um, Yeah, so that would be amazing. I feel like I wouldn't mind it. You know what I mean? And kind of, get away from the traditional way of making shoes. I mean, I guess they kind of did even with the flows, but get away from that even more. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, super lightweight. You feel very quick because uh, the traction is so damn good. Responsive cushion. Uh, my foot felt locked into the shoe as well. So I wasn't like slidering around inside of the shoe. I wasn't sliding around because of the bad traction. It's just, I felt pretty responsive playing in the Crocs. So uh, yeah. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Ventilation obviously is amazing. You know, we got crazy holes. <laughs> we Even this part is super open, right, in the ankle area. So ventilation was amazing. And aesthetically, obviously, Crocs are the best looking shoe ever. Uh, so you can't beat the Crocs, aesthetically. Uh, you just can't, you know? So if you want that swag, is that what, 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 do, what do people call it now? If you, if you want, I don't, I don't even know. I'm, I'm old. But anyways, yeah, so uh, as far as wrapping things up, yes, Crocs, you can definitely hoop in them. Like, honestly though, it's actually pretty nice. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's amazing and obviously I wouldn't main playing in Crocs, but like if you forgot a pair of sh hoop shoes, like if you're going to hoop and you forgot a pair of basketball shoes for some reason, you only have Crocs and you're playing on an indoor court, you can definitely kind of make it work. Your feet are definitely gonna hurt though because impact protection is not great. But well, you can make it work and it actually does basketball. And honestly, for Under Armour, I feel like they should take some design from the Crocs and put it into their flow. You know what I mean? So first of all, have it like this, you know, kind of like a drop in or even copy, you know, you know, like a way of weight or leaning where they make the soft strobe board. Do that so that the foam is actually soft, you know, because flow is like really like not great. You know, it's not that soft, you know, and um, so First of all, change that. Obviously the traction, they don't really need to change because you know, it's it's amazing, right? We already know with foam and its performance on like wood floors, but also like, yeah, no, probably, probably definitely not like this. I guess the upper does make sense, but like, huh, I don't know what they would do for that. Maybe just have the upper come up here, right? Here in the forefoot and have like holes like this in the Crocs. You know what I mean? 
Um, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Crocs, you can definitely hoop in. So, <laughs> uh, pretty surprised there. I mean, I feel like who's hoops in Crocs? I feel like a, a good amount of you guys have hooped in Crocs because Crocs are very popular now and everyone has a pair. So, uh, but yeah, it does basketball and basketball is actually pretty damn well. So, that about wraps it up for this video. Uh, again, if you guys do want to cop, I'll try to leave an affiliate in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.